Aries, it's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for January 18th through the 25th. So I've been a little bit out of it for the last couple of weeks. You might have sensed it if you tend to be very intuitive. Um, but I'm back now. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just been a little bit distracted and, you know, honestly, a little disengaged. Um, I would much rather or preferred to be doing this, um, but it just uh, wasn't really able to happen. You know, just like all of you, if you have a hobby and something comes up in your life, what goes on the back burner? You know, your hobby, whatever you enjoy doing. So... You know, this is more than a hobby to me, but it just couldn't be helped. So believe me, anytime something takes me away or distracts me, it doesn't help me at all. <laughs> it doesn't help me at all as far as my channel or, you know, private readings or anything. So it's definitely not something that I want to do. So my apologies to you. Truly. All right. So. Oh, so anyway, what do we have here? We have Lenormand cards here just to give us a little extra clarity on what's going on. The blue cards represent you. And the red and yellow cards represent your person, okay? Oops. All right, let's see. So I'm not designating, you know, any specific questions or meanings to any of the cards. So this will be purely intuitive reading. So we'll just see what comes up. All right. So first card for you, Aries. Knight of Pentacles. You don't see that come out for you very often. This is card of Virgo. Okay. Um, so you feel right now that there's something possibly this connection is moving very slowly for you or something in your life is moving very slowly. You know, when there are delays, you know, look at those delays as positive things because they're happening for a reason. Certain delays happen for a reason because of timing, okay? This also says that something will get done. Whatever it is that you want to see come into fruition it's like it will come into fruition, but it might be it might be due to timing. What do we have for this person? The emperor, you. This person is very, I feel very focused on you right now. So that's interesting. So what do we have up here? Okay, so we have the anchor. You know, the anchor is about being, you know, emotionally anchored, emotionally anchored together. I feel, um, I feel like this person might be controlling how much they show their emotion for you. This person might seem very um, emotionless or like they're not interested. And I feel like that is what we're talking about when it comes to timing. This person might not even be um, aware that you're interested in them. But at the same time, I feel like you know each other already on some level. All right, so this is interesting. Nine of Cups. It feels like your, your wishes can't come into fruition fast enough, okay? And this isn't surprising, you know, energy for you, Aries. It's like when you want something, you want it now. So this is a little bit of a frustrating energy for you, for sure. This person, wow, Queen of Cups. That's love. Also, card of Scorpio, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. 
this person is, when it comes to you, they are focused on love. So, and the two of you are emotionally anchored somehow. So, why isn't this happening right now? Okay, so we've got the stork. This is about a big positive change. You know, possibly showing you that this is coming. This is coming towards you. It feels new, but at the same time, it doesn't. And I'm not sure why I'm saying that. I'm not sure why I'm feeling that. What do we have here? Nine of Swords. Okay, so right off the bat, it's noticeable that we're getting a lot of nines for you. And we're getting eights. So nines are about you feeling very single. Yeah, I don't feel like you have an awareness that this person has these feelings for you. Even though I feel like you know each other. King of Pentacles. Lots of masculine energy. You know, we've got... Um, you know, we've got all court cards here. That's interesting. What do we have up here? Look at this, the bouquet. This is about, you're worried about whether or not... <clears throat> This romance is going to ever happen. Is there love here? Is it in your imagination? Nine of Swords. You're wondering if this person has the feelings for you that you have for them. And the answer is, I feel like they do. What do we have here? Look at that. Queen of Cups. You both have Queen of Cups. So this is why I'm feeling like the two of you know each other, like you're around each other. You both have love for each other. Is it romantic love? Yes, it is. What does this person have? The moon. I feel like this person has been hiding their feelings here. King of Pentacles says that they want to be generously giving to this. They want to show this to you. I'm not sure why they're not doing that. Let's see. All right, the key. There's some key to this situation or the key to bringing the two of you together or so the two of you have awareness that, you know, you realistically are in love with each other here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. You're sharing that energy, so there's really no doubt. Let's clarify. I want to clarify the Knight of Pentacles for you, for sure. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. And we're going to clarify the key for you. Down here, let's clarify... The Emperor and the Moon. Whoops. And we're going to clarify the key for them as well. Okay. All right, so Knight of Pentacles for you. Look at this. The emperor, again, you. So what is holding this connection up for you? You. There is an emotional attachment here. One more. Judgment. You know, I feel like you're waiting for this person to... To make a move and I feel like they are waiting for you to make some type of move 
and you know this card is about reconciliation or a rebirth this I feel in this particular case is a rebirth to an already existing relationship or or connection it's like it's It could be transforming from friendship or colleague to romance. Queen of Wands. Okay, they, they find you incredibly attractive. Okay, Queen of Wands, you know, could be you. The Queen of Wands is actually um, Leo energy, but it could be any fire sign but I feel like they are just enraptured with you, whether they're telling you or not. Let's get one more for the Queen of Wands. Oh yeah, Ten of Cups. This person wants emotional fulfillment. They, When they dream about you, it's everything. They might want family with you, kids, they see a beautiful picture, almost like a fairy tale. Let's look at this Nine of Swords, Empress. So, you know, the Empress represents, you know, who you see as your ideal person. It also can be a feminine energy. Um, you know, you might be worried about if you are this person's match or their ideal feminine, or ideal person. I feel like with this over here, that's absolutely telling you that they feel that you are their ideal person. Okay, so why the moon here? Card of Pisces, Seven of Pentacles. This person doesn't really know what to do next. They're kind of stuck. You know, they're looking at all of these um, pentacles here that they have grown with you. You know, this first pentacle might be, you know, when they met you. All of these pentacles might be different scenarios that they've had with you, different conversations. It's like, what do I do with this pentacle down here? Where do I plant this pentacle? This pentacle is the most important. It's the last one. What do I do with it? So they might be keeping certain feelings hidden because they don't know what to do yet. So what is the key <clears throat> for you? The chariot. The key for them, look at this. They got the empress. So I feel like that's important information because that's telling you that the key for them is that you are it. You are their person. You're worried about that, and they're telling you, no, you are it for me. You, over here with the chariot, it's like, do I follow my head or my heart? Do I listen to my head and all of my worries as to whether or not I'm the right person? Or, Queen of Cups, do I listen to my heart? Do I follow my heart? I feel unequivocally that the answer there is you follow your heart. This love, this connection is literally a matter of listening to your heart. There is love all through this. I feel like each of you see each other as your ideal person. And you both have love for each other. And when it comes to who this is about right now, it's about you, Aries. You're showing up twice here. Emotional connection. There's a strong anchored emotional connection here. There are some big positive changes that are coming that bring you your wishes fulfilled. This is about, these big changes are about love and romance. And the key to this is realizing that whatever you're worried about as far as whether or not you're the, the right person for them, they're telling you that you are. And this is also saying for you, the answer is in following your heart. That's my favorite reading so far this week.
All right, Aries, that is what I have for you. You could be dealing with another Aries. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo, Cancer, or Taurus or Libra with this Empress card too, okay? All right, if you are looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can certainly reach out to me um, or take advantage of the Same Day Reading Marathon on Wednesday, January 20th. Which, I don't know if that's a good day to do it with the inauguration and all that stuff, but, you know, what the hell, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you have a great week. You can look forward to some more readings this week. Um, I have my time back, so, yeah, so I'm excited about that. All right, so thank you so much. Thank you for your patience, and I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Bye.